Hi, my name is Brianna Brew, and I'm an intern working with Marketing and News Services in the Washington State University College of Agriculture, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences and WSU Extension. Today I'm going to talk with students in WSU's program in Viticulture and Enology. Viticulture is the science, production, and study of grapes, and Enology is the science of winemaking. Researchers at WSU have been conducting research for the Washington wine industry for over 70 years. The premium wine industry in Washington is the second largest in the U.S. and is still growing rapidly. Washington wines have an international reputation for excellence. In order to meet the demands of an industry that needs highly qualified employees with a strong education in science, WSU started a program in viticulture and enology. We'd like you to hear for yourself what students think about our rapidly growing program. My name is Brian Morachek. I'm Susan Matheson. My name is Robin Graham. I am Rosie Signer, also known as Rosanna Simon. My name is Chris Fladwood. My name is Daniel Habibian. I'm Leah Aiden. I'm Scott Rance. I'm Dane Scrambolo. How did you get interested in viticulture and enology? Well, I've always grown up in agriculture. Uh, my parents own a vineyard in the winery and also an orchard. And uh, just recently, I, I, when I became of age, I started to enjoy and, and love wine. So. So I really took an interest in it quickly. Well, my family, I grew up in horticulture. Uh, we grew uh, apples, cherries, and pears. And I always liked the idea of kind of participating in my family. You know, that we've done it for generations. And, uh, and so I thought it was a good way to get involved in horticulture. And we did just recently put in some grapes and are making wine. I helped build a winery at Eastwood Construction. And, uh, towards making wine. I had a friend send me a uh, wine making book while I was overseas and um, when I came back to school I uh, had read the book and I just uh, learned they had a viticulture knowledge program and got into it and loved it. I was always uh, interested in sciences and uh, I was looking to do something in sciences, you know, choosing a career for myself and I came to see, you know, wine making. I got really into it. Um, my dad is actually a wine distributor back home, so I kind of have always seen the business side of it, and it just kind of interests me, and I found the major here, and was like, all right, I'll go for it. Growing grapes, if I can make a living out of it, yeah. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Why did you choose Washington State University? Mainly because I love Washington, and um, uh, they're the only ones in Washington that offer the program as complete as I wanted it. There really aren't too many viticulture and analogy programs, so it's really here or UC Davis or back east, and so this worked out for me and I have family here. and I really wanted to get that four-year degree. I previously attended University of Oregon, but really didn't like it. Um, and got talked into coming here and loved it. I heard they have one of the best uh, viticulture and analogy programs. Well, I heard they had a good program, and so I looked into it and I liked it. I visited the school and I really liked what I saw, so I decided to come over. I don't know of another college in state that has this program. What do you like most about the Viticulture and Enology program? The thing that I like the most about the Viticulture and Enology program is, uh, is that you have such educated people teaching the classes and also that you're forced to do internships and go out into the industry and get so, so much work experience before you even graduate that it really gives you a hands-on training. I like because it's kind of small and we're all friends and we all know each other. I really enjoy that I have a sound horticultural um, base to work from and uh, it's, it's really scientific. The people, I'd have to say. And the little bugs. I like little bugs. <laughs> the science beyond, beyond the art of winemaking. I like the people that are in the program. It's a small program. It's, you know everybody in your classes and you all kind of work together on everything. I've talked to other people uh, um, from my internship and they don't have as much of a science background as we do. I like the friendliness. Have you had any internship experiences with b &E so far? I worked in uh, France this uh, summer. Um, I worked at Chateau Cantanac in uh, saint Mion Grand Cru. Um, and I currently work for Basalt Cellars as a uh, cellar worker and enologist. No, actually, I'm um, right now I'm taking Italian, so I'm going to do my internships in Italy. I'm going to spend a summer and possibly a semester abroad doing um, working in a winery and working in a vineyard. Wow. So yeah, it'll be fun. I had an internship on Long Island uh, in Hamptons, 
and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it was really fun to, to just work in a vineyard for, uh, for summer. I just had a summer internship actually down in Napa Valley. I um, worked at Hall Wines in Napa and it was awesome. It was a great experience and sunny weather every day and I learned a lot. I did an internship at Alder Ridge Vineyards uh, near the Tri-Cities and uh, worked on a vineyard all summer long and had a great time. It's a pretty big vineyard over there, over 900 acres, and um, uh, it was very laid back. I mean, you know, it didn't really feel like work, actually. It felt kind of like play. Where do you plan on ending up after graduation? It'd be nice to go out of state for a while, or in state, you know, depending on what, what job offers or opportunities I get. Somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. I want to do a couple more internships. I want to travel. I want to see the New Zealand vineyards, and I want to see Chilean vineyards, and European vineyards. And so that's kind of what my plan is. I don't, I'm not ready for a real world job yet. So I just kind of want to learn different styles of winemaking, and then eventually find a winery that wants me to be their winemaker. I would like to become a winemaker. Uh, making wines, really, what it's all about, I think. And so uh, I'd like to work for someone. Uh, you know, of course, for a while after graduation, um, but then eventually go my own direction and uh, hopefully get my own winery, you know, before too long. I think I want to work for a big company and then eventually own my own smaller company. What classes have you taken so far and have they been hard or easy? I've taken the viticulture courses and the enology courses and uh, a lot of science stuff. Lots of science classes and labs. They're taking a lot of science classes, uh, a lot of uh, chemistry, a lot of microbiology, genetics, biochemistry, chemistry, organic, and microbiology. And then uh, horticulture classes, which have been really great. They're pretty hard classes, yeah. um, but I made it through. The harder classes have really been chemistries. Um, I didn't realize how much chemistry there is involved in winemaking. There's a lot, and it's a lot of science. And that's a lot of fun. Do you have any advice for others getting interested in viticulture and enology? Yeah, know your chemistry. Have to want to work hard, I guess. Definitely be prepared for a lot of science. So, it's not easy. Get out and do as many internships or just real field work as much as possible. It's never too early to start because the amount of stuff I learned this summer, I mean, cascades over one class or five classes, it's just in so many connections and everything like that. Keep your old exams, keep your stuff, uh, and actually study hard because it will come back. Yeah, just talk to people. Just um, Kathleen Williams or uh, John Fellman, just talk to one of them. They're really easy to talk to, and if you say you're interested, they will do anything to help you.